Haruo Ono is a fisherman in the town of Shinchi in Fukushima Prefecture. He says although market prices have not fallen as sharply as expected over the past year, he remains deeply disturbed by concerns about nuclear contaminated water discharges into the sea and distrust of TEPCO. I'm full of anxiety. I'm worried that 30 years from now, 50 years from now, our children and grandchildren will be affected for various reasons. If fish with high radioactivity show up in 30 years, we'll be in this situation forever. Why are only fishermen in Fukushima suffering so much? We didn't do anything wrong. Why should the Japan government protect Tokyo Electric Power Company? We fishermen residents of Fukushima should be protected. Hirota is a well-known lawyer in Japan. After the Fukushima nuclear accident in 2011, he participated in several compensation lawsuits. He said the government and TEPCO's forced discharge of Fukushima nuclear contaminated water violates the plaintiffs of fishermen's right to personality, the right to exercise fisheries, and the right of ordinary people to live in peace. He says class action lawsuits like this can take years or even decades. I think the government's strategy is to drag it out as long as possible until we are exhausted and the community forgets about it. But I don't think litigation can go on like this. We have to think about how to deal with it. I think the key is how to move the proceedings forward as quickly as possible and get a verdict. Hirota cited the history of environmental hazards in Japan, such as Minamata disease, mercury poisoning from eating contaminated fish. He says the government and TAPCO need to learn from history. No matter what kind of nuisance lawsuit it is, they always say at the beginning, we did not harm, the harm was insignificant. But as time went down and the truth came to light, it turned out and these problems were actually extremely harmful. For such history, the Japan government and typical have no respect for this attitude and are very arrogant. Since the first case, more forces have joined the plaintiff group represented by Hirota. The number of lawyers has increased from 20 to some 30, and the number of plaintiffs is also increasing. Harota says they were ready to persist to the end.